with just a few clicks and time until you can create countdown clocks for distribution on the Windows and Mac OS 10 operating system. Just to show you what you can do and in fact with time until you can also create screen savers. These screen savers are for the Windows operating system. But let's go back to our countdown clock. Let's select a time that we're going to count down to. Click on the time and adjust using these arrows. And you can adjust all the way down to the seconds if you like. Now let's select a color for the timer background color. We'll go a little bit on the weird side. Orange the digits. Let's make those a blue. And there's text that also appears on the clock. And let's select another color for that. Okay. Now let's add, add some scrolling messages. Text before. And we can add text that will appear after the time has been reached. And I spelled that wrong. Now we can add a color for our uh, scrolling messages. And we can also change the font as well. Okay. Now we can add a background color for the scrolling message. Okay. We can even add a link from the scrolling message region to our our website if we want. We can also add a icon to appear in, in that area. Oh, there are no images there, but we'll leave the icon out for now. And we've already reached a point that we can preview our work. Just give it a minute to, to compile. You don't have to, have to do any programming or anything. Uh, what you saw there was everything you have to do. Now notice that the scroll is a, a bit slow. So let's get out of here. And notice we have different settings. Countdown. Or if you want to see the current time instead of the countdown time. We can also change the position on, on the screen. So when it opens up center large okay select the set button here okay. send it to the top right okay <coughs> so let's close the clock and return to our our clock generator now notice we said that the scroll seemed a bit slow so let's just increase the speed a bit here now the next step is we're going to add images. So you can use this here to include a slideshow with your countdown clock. Add images. Let's find a folder where we have some images. some sunsets. Select and open. And now let's preview our work. Again, give it a, little, a bit of time to compile. And it should appear. There it is. And there's our slideshow going. Again, we're going to want to increase our speed again. Set. Let's have it in the center large. Okay. And we can have various settings. We can stop the scroll. We can hide the images. So you have lots of options. We can also set it so the clock will start up when your computer starts. You can 
set the clock so it stays on top of, of other programs or unselect so it it's hidden. So stop. Okay. And actually let's close this here and go back to our generator, our messages, and we'll increase the scroll a bit more until we're happy with its speed. And you preview it. Again, a bit of time just to um, compile because your generator is actually outputting a new program. And there we go. So once we're happy with, with the output, we can close the clock. Our generator is back here. Now, if we want to distribute, and we can distribute our clocks on Windows operating systems and Mac computers running the OS X operating system. And here are the options, Save Clock for Distribution, Mac OS X, Save Clock for Distribution, Windows. So just select one of these here. It'll then generate a clock that will and we'll give it a a name. Test one, save, and a clock name again. Test one, save. Just remember where you saved your file to. And we're done. That's how easy it is to design a countdown clock complete with a scrolling message, complete with a slideshow, and then you can distribute as many copies as you like for, uh, for family, business. Uh, your imagination will, will, will determine how you, how you use this. Thank you. You can watch or you can download the program, Time Until, from our website www.timeuntil.com